Welcome viewers, welcome to Arts for Better Living from the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Council, our monthly TV show which takes brings the arts to the people and brings the people to the arts. We're so glad to be in your living rooms again today. We've been gone for a while but we're back and we're back with even greater art than before. So thank you for joining us. We come to you once a month to showcase local community members and local talent and things that are going on in our community and, and bring the arts together and connect those artistic dots for all of us which are an economic and an academic engine and we also go live on location and today interestingly enough we are in the SWAC office we have a great piano here that we're going to be using and we have some wonderful guests so we've decided to bring you into the SWAC world now, as you know, in the past, we've done some branding here at the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Council called Been Swacked. That's our acronym, and we ask you, have you been swacked? And then any time you experience the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Council on any level, you've been swacked. So we just thank you for taking a moment out of your busy lives to join us, and we're going to have a swacking good time, and we're going to get you swacked. So thank you for that, for joining us today. For that. Now, it's very exciting. As you know, the arts are a gift to our souls that we may achieve gladness in the midst of tedious living. And there's no more tedious living than what we have today. The arts are our entitlement to lift ourselves to higher ground simply for the asking. We have some great higher ground to take you to today. We have a wonderful program at the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Council called the Instrument Barn. And this is a great program that allows any child in Wicomico County to be able to play an instrument if they choose to, but may not be able to provide that instrument. You know, in the times of where they are with parents trying to put food on the table and pay the light bills, sometimes piano lessons and, and band lessons get put aside. So the Arts Council has come in and we've asked you to support us by giving us your old instruments in the attic, everybody's got one, and, and or to control contribute funds to this program and then those instruments are given to a child in grade school that child can keep that instrument all the way through school till they graduate and when they graduate the instrument goes back to the school so it enables these children to be able to play instruments and just another note about this program before you I tell you the exciting thing that's going to happen for this program is that we know that the arts are an academic engine when children are involved in the arts truancy levels are down you rarely see a child with a tuba on their hip skipping school it just doesn't happen. They have a sense of belonging, their test scores are higher, their character is built. So we're building tomorrow's generation through the Instrument Barn program, the leaders of tomorrow. That being said, the proof is in the pudding. We have two young students here today, not very young, but grown young men students who have been involved in the arts their whole lives and they've been playing piano beautifully and they realized the value of this and they actually came to me and said we have been blessed to have arts in our lives and music but not everyone has how can we help this does not happen this proves the character that the arts help build and the stamina and the enthusiasm and i'm so very excited we have a fabulous program coming up for you today and also on november 16th so enough from me let me get on to the great things that are happening kieran murphy a junior at bennett high school and kaya manizati a senior at bennett high school have come to me with a program they're going to provide for you called classics for a cause on november 16th and welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry you had to listen to all that to get to where you're at. But we are so excited. Can you just tell me in a nutshell how this came about and what your thoughts are about the arts? Just take turns. And well, I think Kieran, Kieran really started it, so I'll let him start. Okay. Yeah, well, um, I've been playing piano since I was uh, seven years old, so nine years. And music has just had such a profound impact on my life. And I, I really couldn't imagine what it would be like to not have music. So, um, there, but there are lots of kids that, I mean, experience that every day because they can't afford instruments or whatnot. So, um, I, when I heard about the instrument program, I thought it was a great program and that it would be great to raise more money for it, to raise awareness for it so that uh, every child could have the opportunity to be able to play an instrument. And so, um, I decided that it would be appropriate to give a piano concert since Kai and I uh, have both played piano for a while and it would be sort of like a musician's helping musicians type thing. And so I, I came to Miss Hamilton with the idea and we've just been going ever since. It's been wonderful. And who came up with the name? Oh, that was a joint effort actually. Okay. We came up with that on the phone together. 
Okay, the name is Classics for a Cause. It's going to be classic piano music, and the cause is, of course, the instrument bar and program through SWAC. So I'll be reiterating this throughout the program, and then we'll get back to some questions and answers. But at Classics for a Cause is at 7 p.m. Saturday evening, November 16th, graciously being held at the uh, Asbury United Methodist Church Sanctuary, 1401 Camden Avenue, who have allowed us to come in and bring this great music to the, to the public, as well as their handbell choir will be also participating. So now, back to the concert. And let's hear a little bit from you, Kaya, like music, and what has it meant to you? Well, I've been playing piano for about nine years, same as Kieran, but I'm a year older. So I started when I was eight. Uh, I've been playing classical piano with a mix of jazz uh, ever since then. And uh, Kieran came up with the idea for this great concert to benefit local, uh, you know, the local charity, Instrument Barn. And I thought it was a great idea. So I said, you know, why not? Let's do this. Um, so, yeah, we're together, we're both going to offer an array of classical and jazz uh, piano. Wonderful, wonderful. And today, you're going to give us a sample. Each of you are going to play a selection. Yes, yes. Um, that we're going to provide as a teaser to you out there, audience, that you'll want to come back and hear more. And again, let me tell you about the tickets, too, so we can get all that information covered. You can get tickets on our website at www.getswack.org, or you can call 410 543 the Arts, 410-543-2787. You can mail it to P.O. Box 884, Salisbury 2803, or you can come and see us right here in our office at 104A Poplar Hill Avenue, above Season's Best Antique Store. Now, the tickets are very reasonably priced. They're $10 for an adult, um, and SWAC members, seniors, citizens, or veterans can get a ticket for $8. Students are $5 and children under five are free or if you have a gently used instrument in your attic and we're looking particularly for clarinets, flutes, um, saxophone and brass. If you have one of those instruments that's gently used, you can bring that as your admission price and then we'll refurbish it and give it out to the students. So back to the concert. What are the type of selections you're going to be playing that evening? Can you give us an idea? Sure, yeah, well, uh, we will be playing a, a pretty wide variety of music uh, ranging from the Brook period to the contemporary period. Um, I know I've got some Bach, some Mozart, Chopin, Liszt, uh, Rachmaninoff, so really everything from the 17th until the 20th century. Yeah, uh, I too am playing a wide variety of stuff. I'm Rachmaninoff, uh, Kachaturian, WC, Liszt, Chopin, similar stuff, along with some Oscar Peterson, which is some later jazz stuff. Um, and we'll also both be playing uh, duets, so there will oh, be yes. two big duets, oh, which will be really exciting. fun. That is exciting. And you've been telling me how great the acoustics are and the instrument there at the mm -hmm. church. Is that a really great yeah, place no, to yes. perform? Yeah, it's magnificent Steinway they have there and a great venue for a concert of this size. Oh, wonderful. And the church was so gracious. Um, you know, they have their expenses and their things to take care of when people come and ask them for support. But they found a way um, to, to take us on and be able to promote and, and have this event um, for us as a host. And we're very, very thankful for that. They were very impressed with these young men. And I will have to say a couple other things. Along with the concert and all the good that's happening from that, it's been really fun to work with two uh, young gentlemen their age in the community. They've uh, dressed like this almost every time I've seen them, which is totally impressive. They've been out selling ads for the program, writing the program. They've appeared with us at Third Friday and sold tickets. They've each got packets of tickets in their pocket that they carry around and sell. So for no other reason than their great efforts, please come out and support this event and support the Instrument Farm program. Now, before we go to the music, can you just tell me kind of in a nutshell, um, I've had someone ask me even this week, what, what is it in creating art? What does creating art mean to you and what does it do to you and, and how do you feel? So why is your life different or your life different because you can sit at a piano and play a beautiful piece of music compared to a child that goes through li their life and never experiencing any art? In kind of in a nutshell, what would you say? Well, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah, question. I can. Yeah, yeah, true. Killer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, to me, art is, is sort of like structured emotion. If I get home from a, a long day of, at school or work or something, then I, I can come home and as soon as I sit at the piano, it's like instant relief. Um, there's so many different styles depending on how I'm feeling. I could play, you know, a, a beautiful romantic piece or a more structured, orderly uh, Baroque piece. And just being able to do that has, it's given me an emotional channel. It's sort of, I feel like, helped me mentally. And it's uh, given me confidence as well uh, with public performance. Very good. And what about you, Kaya? Well, definitely what Kieran said. I, uh, it definitely gives you a, a form uh, of, or a channel to uh, funnel your emotion through. You can really, uh, you know, it, it, it makes you feel better. But also, one of the best things about art of that caliber is that you can connect with humanity, if you will. You know, you, uh, 
these composers that have been dead for hundreds of years can still talk to you, you know, mm. in the modern day just through their music and what they've written. And that connection really, you know, brings people together. Wonderful. That's great. I couldn't have uh, heard it said any better by anyone else. So. Okay, well, we are ready now to hear some glorious music. And so let's talk about what you're going to play. Uh, Kieran Murphy, what are you going to play for us today? Uh, I'm going to be playing Chopin's Waltz in C-sharp minor. It's his uh, 62nd opus number two. Very good. And Kaya, what are you going to be playing for us today? I'll be playing a WC piece. Uh, it's Dr. Gratis Ad Parnassum from his Children's Corner work. M wonderful. It sounds great. I can't wait to hear it. So are we ready? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guests. Let's listen and watch.
Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you so much. It was so moving. I, I'm just so, I'm just really taken oh, well, by thank your performance. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. How did you feel when you were playing it? I just try to get into the music, you know, just dive in and really feel it. Yes. Yeah. That's sort of what it's all about, you know? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. When you talked earlier about the difference it makes in your life, it lifts up your day, it kind of has, it, you have a place to put your mind and deal with stress with music. That's what I was thinking when I was hearing it. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I was getting actually choked up. It's like it just brings so much emotion and so many feelings you can express yourself through the arts, through mm -hmm. music. And I think that's the message we're always trying to get to the public is that the arts are not just a nice thing to do. It's not just, it's not just fun to go to a concert or to uh, make, create a painting. It's actually food for your soul. Yeah. And um, so that's exactly what you did today was, was feed our souls with that. And I will just add a, a, a quick note, um, a personal reflection they, they thought I should share is that I've always wanted to play piano all my life since I was two years old. And it just wasn't possible in my uh, growing up years. But I'm still going to one day. Maybe one of these gentlemen can teach me. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. That would be, be fun. <laughs> But um, it's, it's just a great experience for young children. So any, any closing thoughts you would like to add about the event itself um, to your public? Oh, we could mention donations of instruments. Yes. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It, um, if at the door, uh, and rather than pay for a ticket, you could uh, bring a lightly used band or string instrument, I think. Woodwind. And, yeah, and get in free. Yes, yeah, and you, with sitting in your attic doing nothing, so what, what good use to it. And we want to also thank and mention the Handbell Choir of Asbury United Methodist Absolutely. Church. They're going to be performing with you as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be a lot so of fun. that will bring some variety to the performance, so not just piano, but we'll also have the bell choir playing. That's right, that's right. Um, and we've had a lot of gracious donors, one being uh, Clear Channel uh, Signs, Outdoor Signs has given us yes. a sign. These gentlemen yeah. went and approached them, and they, it's a wonderful uh, sign down, uh, I think, on College Avenue. Mm -hmm. It says Classics for a Cause. So we want to thank them and thank Asbury Church and all yep. the people who've made it possible. Yep. And also, uh, Delmarva Document Solutions has been a huge help as well. They're doing our programs for free. Very, oh, wonderful, wonderful. That sounds, that sounds good. And also, at the end of the concert, uh, I know you're going to come for the music and for the handbells and love all that, but everybody likes something sweet. So we're going to have a little reception, a little dessert reception afterwards, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, that will be fun. That will be fun. Okay. All right. Well, that is great. Well, we uh, really appreciate both of you coming on uh, the air today, and particularly with your performance. And we got to use our nice big grand piano here that we don't get to use very often. Did it play all right? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it sounded great. great. Yeah. Good. Thanks for having us, too. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. All right. Well, we've, we've heard all about that. So just to reiterate one last time, Classics for a Cause, 7 p.m. Saturday, November 16th at Asbury United Methodist Church. And um, the tickets are $10 for adults. SWAC members, senior citizens, and veterans are $8. Students are 5 and children under 5 are free. Or if you have a gently used woodwind instrument, that would be a clarinet, flute, um, a saxophone, or possibly a brass instrument, if you wanted to bring that as admission, we would love to have that too. You can get tickets available at getswac.org, or you can call 410-543-2787, 410-543-ARTS. You can make a check out to P.O. Box 884 Salisbury, 21803, to the Salisbury White Comical Arts Council, or you can come see us right here at 104A Poplar Hill Avenue above Season's Best Antique Store. So come on out for Classics for the Cause. We are really excited to bring that to you. Okay, well, viewers, we're going to close the show today, but just a few reminders um, for your own interest is that if you have an arts event, we are now, as you can see, going live on location, been doing that for about six months, and we will come out and film your event. So if you have a play, you have a gallery showing, you have something you would like us to film and come and talk with you and interview on the air, we would be happy to do that. Um, we would like to have one month, a one-month notice. So if you can let us know about that and call the office here and uh, we'll be sure and come out and bring Arts for Better Living in, into your environment. A couple of things you should know for the Arts Council, aside from the classics, is the Arts Enhanced, arts enhanced Education Grants are for schools to keep arts in the schools. You know, sometimes that's the first thing that gets cut. And so uh, the Arts Council here likes to bring those arts back in. So teachers, if you are out there and interested and you have a project, the deadline for the application is December 7th. The application and the guidelines are on our website at getswack.org. Of course, Classics for the Cause, November 16th. January 11th is a scholarship fair at the mall. We have scholarships available for young students and uh, going into college. And uh, on January 28th, we have the Maryland State Arts Council County 
Poetry Out Loud competition here for winners to go on to Washington, D.C. It's held right here in the SWAC office. Our scholarship deadline is March 10th for those young people wanting to apply for scholarships. Arts on the Plaza is on April 26th. And of course, our big fundraiser is our, is our annual gala. This year it's going to be on February 26th, uh, excuse me, February 22nd. We don't have the theme determined yet, but trust me, it's a great event. And remember, all the events that you attend for the Arts Council, it creates a swinging door. The funds that come in go right back out to the community. The more you give, the more we can give away in arts, grants, and scholarships. So I think I've covered everything. We, we do have one more little thing. If you're interested in your Christmas shopping, we have a wonderful stuffed monkey we're selling for uh, $19.99, and $10 of that goes to SWAC. So just contact us if you would like to have a plush toy delivered to a nursing home or a, a shelter or to in your own, under your own Christmas tree. And of course, SWAC would get part of those, those funds. So we are wrapping things up. We want to remember to um, thank our sponsors that help SWAC all the time which is Magic 98.9, Froggy 99.9, KISS 95.9, Q105, Channel WMTT Channel 47, Delaware Lumber and Millwork, uh, PNC Bank, The Daily Times, Delmarva Printing, Delmarva, Delmarva Public Radio, First Shore Federal, uh, Bordelow uh, Vineyards and Winery, and um, uh, Let's see, we have the Arts Council, uh, Maryland State Arts Council, so I don't want to forget those. Um, so thank you to all of our guests and all of our sponsors. If you've enjoyed the show today and you would um, like to become a part of SWAC, remember that membership is nominal. We'd love to have you join us. You can remember that um, the arts and membership for the Arts Council helps to provide a strong economy and an academic engine as well. And you can go to our website at getswack.org and join the Arts Council for a nominal fee. It goes a long way. So thank you again for taking time to be with us. Stay tuned in next month um, for SWAC Energy and to keep abreast of all the arts for better living right here in River City. And thank you. And remember, now you've been swacked. Bye now.